This is the Keen KPS1 AC power switch. It's quite a simple product. We have AC input at this end of either 90 through 250 volts at either 50 or 60 hertz, so that's worldwide compatible, and an AC outlet at this end. The input is switched to the output either by contact closure triggering or by voltage triggering and there's no external power required. It obviously internally takes all the power it needs from the AC input. So if I connect the input power to this, you'll see that the standby light has come on and at the moment nothing is flowing to the output. So let's hook it up to something and then you can see how it works in operation. Okay, so I'm now going to use a, a little adapter to connect the AC output to this little desk lamp here just so that we can see what's happening. That's now connected. Still no current is flowing because we've got no trigger set up. So first of all we'll have a look at the contact closure. A um, little plug in here. And I've got this just going to two open ends at the moment. Even though there's mains flowing through here, it's completely safe to touch. This is isolated and, and completely separate from the main circuit, as you would expect. And if I touch those together, you will see that the light comes on. In practice, this would more normally be connected to um, a switch or the output from another automation device. And in practice, you're unlikely to want to control a desk lamp with it. It's more likely to want to go to a a pump or, or something that's not easily switched by other means. Um, you can also use the, uh, the Kira CC, another Keen product, and that's got twin relay outputs on it, so you just literally connect those to those. You can then use the um, inbuilt web page to, to switch the closure using a, an iPhone or an iPad or um, demo pad or any other um, of the automation software that's on the market for control. You can also use Amazon Alexa for voice control. So that's the contact closure side of it. Um, <clears throat> just quickly talk about the voltage trigger as well. It's commonly referred to as a GPI or general purpose interface and it can be found on a lot of devices, particularly alarm systems. They have a, a zero uh, voltage output that goes high when an event is triggered and you can use that trigger to then switch whatever it is that you want to control. So uh, here I've just got a 3.5 millimeter jack plug. That's a stereo jack, so we've got three connections here. In practice, we only need two to uh, trigger the device, so a mono jack will work just as well. And it'll work on anything from about four to, to 15 volts. So I've got a little bench supply here. We'll set that at 12 volts. And I'm just gonna pick two of the three connections at random. And there we go, the light comes on. It doesn't matter which way round I connect this internally. Um, we take care of that with some special circuitry so you can connect this either way round. It's still going to work properly. So it's just about impossible to wire it wrong and you can use any two of the three available connections. So a very easy way of switching a device that isn't easy to be switched by any other means.